The federal government may have to step in to help Martinsville with a costly groundwater contamination problem. Amanda Soliday has the story. A local dry cleaner that closed in the early 1990s left a toxic legacy in the Martinsville community. Tetrachloroethylene, or PCE, a chemical that's used to clean fabrics, slowly seeped from the downtown Masterware building into the groundwater that supplies the city with drinking water. The Agency for Toxic Substance and Disease Registry says that the chemical can cause liver and kidney damage, as well as cancer. The contamination started downtown, which is approximately a half a mile as the crow flies to the southeast from here, and it's gradually headed towards the river right through here. The city installed carbon filters in 2005 to remove the chemical at its water treatment plant and protect the drinking water. In an effort to help with the cost of the ongoing contamination problem, the state of Indiana petitioned for the Martinsville well site to be placed on the Superfund National Priorities List, a survey of sites in desperate need of chemical cleanup. The designation would allow the city to receive federal funding to help monitor and remediate the well site. The contamination level when we first built the plants was about 10 to 12 parts per billion. Our latest uh, tests indicate 47 parts per billion. So you can see over the last uh, approximately 10 to 15 years, uh, not quite 15 years, but 10, the, uh, the contamination level has quadrupled. One possible reason the PCE levels are still increasing is due to the slow movement of the groundwater that carries the chemical from the original dry cleaner site to the wells. According to the EPA, there may be other possible sources of contamination as well. City leaders have proposed an increase in water rates to help cover the water treatment plant's operation costs, and eventually they hope to use a new well site for the city's drinking water supplies. For WTIU News, I'm Amanda Soliday. The EPA invites public comment until November 19th.